You know, I don't really like Jason Momoa. Never have, either. But hold up, hold up. Don't unsubscribe just yet. This isn't about what I do and don't like. This is about the fact that your boy remains philosophically consistent. And my philosophy is to say no to cancel culture. To deny it. I say no to cancel culture when it comes for people I like, like Louis C.K., and for people I don't like, like Jason Momoa. Now, you might be asking, Leon, why are they trying to cancel Jason Momoa? And I'll tell you... You haven't been on X today, have you? Because Jason Momoa was trending due to him trying to cancel him for a joke he made 12 years ago. Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol, and yeah, let's get into it. Let's talk about why Jason Momoa made an offhanded joke 12 years ago, and the mob is coming for him now. Before we do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to the 2,000 subscriber mark before the end of the year, and with us being past the 1,600 mark already, that seems incredibly doable. You'd really be helping your boy out, plus... You get a benefit to this too. You get to get the nerdy news every day. And I know you all want that. That being said, I appreciate it. Let's get into it. Jason Momoa sparks backlash over unearthed rape joke. The actor has sparked backlash for his alleged behavior on set of the Aquaman sequel, and now an unearthed clip of him making a rape joke has re-emerged because lo and behold, it's the year 2023, and since about 2016, Jokes were off limit. You couldn't make jokes about anything. It doesn't matter if you're the nicest guy in the world wouldn't harm a fly. You can't make a joke about some sort of violence, specifically a, a particular type of violence that, you know, happens to some members of the population uh, without being canceled, dragged down, being told you're an awful person. And, and the context is dead, folks. Context is dead, just like Jason Momoa's acting career if these people get their way. Jason Momoa sparked backlash on social media after he made a joke about raping beautiful women in a newly unearthed clip. The Aquaman actor hit headlines on Wednesday after reports about his behavior on set on the forthcoming sequel emerged. Uh, a sequel that nobody is going to see, by the way. Like, the, the reported budget for this thing is about $230 million, if I remember off the top of my head, including reshoots. Meaning it will need about 750 mil, give or take, to break even when you account for marketing and the theaters getting their cut. There's no way. This is the last movie in the DCEU, you know, the, the last movie that's part of the, the quote-unquote Snyderverse before the complete reboot by James Gunn. This movie lucky to make 350 million tops, and that's if China's feeling real generous. But this isn't about that. I just wanted to remind you all that uh, Aquaman 2, it, it's going to flop just like a fish out of water. According to his remarks made by Coast star Amber Heard to her therapist, because Amber Heard is just a bastion of trust, Momoa would regularly turn up on set drunk, dressed like her ex-husband Johnny Depp. Now, I don't know about you guys, I find that hilarious. Like, like, regardless of how you guys feel about rape jokes, him showing up dressed as Johnny Depp is super damn funny, considering that's the payback she gets after she gets, I don't know, cut off part of his finger, if I recall. I, I, I like to think that, despite the fact that Jason Momoa is one of those climate change nutbags who will throw a fit at Chris Pratt on, the, uh, on, on X just for using a plastic water bottle because it's so bad for the dolphins, I'd like to think he's got a pretty good sense of humor otherwise. Following backlash surrounding his alleged conduct, newly unearthed footage from the actor has exposed a joke he made about sexual assault in 2011. Now here's the dealio. I don't feel bad for him. I'm gonna defend him because again, I'm anti-cancel culture and I do not think that anyone, that cancel culture should apply to anyone unless it is something literally illegal. Like, you know, Bill Cosby? Yeah, he's already been canceled. Dude's in jail. I'm, I'm all in support of canceling Bill Cosby on account of he raped like 37 women. Canceling Jason Momoa, on the other hand, who made a joke offhanded 11, 12 years ago about raping women, not in the same boat. So, yes, while he has participated and attributed to the culture we have today by being an activist himself, by claiming that, you know, he stands with all women, and by being basically a modern day Hollywood feminist and just being a modern Hollywood douche in general, he's actively made this problem worse, and now it's coming for him. So, note, I am going to defend him, but I do not feel sorry for him. While discussing HBO shows, Show Game of Thrones, in which he played Khal Drago, during a Comic-Con panel, Momoa made a remark that appeared to make some of his fellow actors uncomfortable. When asked, by the way, I highly doubt this. It was 2011. These sorts of jokes were pretty fine back then. Like, let's be, cancel culture and all this didn't truly start emerging till around 2014, give or take. And if I'm remembering correctly, you know, this happened in about 2011. Uh, I, I don't think it was 
actually as big a deal back then, and I doubt his co- uh, you know, co-stars were near as uncomfortable. In fact, I'm sure if you looked at his co-stars, they've said and or done worse. So I, I like that this uh, article is just outright assuming, oh, he was the he was the one off base. He made everyone uncomfortable. You guys don't remember what 2011 was like at news.com.au, do ya? When asked why he loves working on projects that fall within the fantasy genre, his response elicited some gasps from the audience. As far as sci-fi and fantasy, I love that genre because there are so many things you can do, like rip someone's tongue out of their throat and get away with it, and rape and rape beautiful women, he said. That's a fine joke to me. Like, like, uh, imagine, put yourself in that position. You're a dude, you're being asked a question about why you love fantasy. Well, it's called fantasy. There's a lot of things that can be done in the fantasy genre. Absolutely would get you thrown in prison for the rest of your damn life in the real world. So you go for the most off-the-wall, heinous thing you can think of because it is fantasy. It's fantastical. It's fiction. It's in the name. So you say, eh, yeah, you can do some things you can't do in real life. Like rip someone's tongue out of their throat and get away with it and rape beautiful women. Like, clearly, it's a very tongue-in-cheek, despite tongue being out of the throat, answer to that question. It's a joke, and it very much hits the target audience. Like, like, the people who would find that funny, I can see being a lot of dudes out there, considering sci-fi and fantasy is mostly a genre for dudes, let's be real. Like, I'm, I, I love it when women get in on that stuff, but I'm gonna be real, a lot of that's geared towards men, and it really always has been. It, you were hard-pressed to find a Lord of the Rings fan that was a female before the Peter Jackson films, is all I'm saying. This is the same man who said that he likes his character on Game of Thrones gets to rape beautiful women. He shouldn't be allowed around women ever. Yes, jokes now. They, they, they want These type of people want it to wear jokes. Keep you from interacting with other humans. Oh no, you said something that was subjectively offensive in a humorous manner, mind you. You no longer get to be around vulvas. Like, alright, don't don't you think you're going a bit extreme here, Cyan? Uh, notes from Amber Heard's therapist, Dr. Don Hughes, described a hostile Aquaman set where he alleged, where an allegedly intoxicated Jason Momoa dressed like Depp and pushed to have Heard booted from the role of her aquatic superhero Mera. I think he was doing the world a service. Like, here's the thing. Jason Momoa is always talking about cleaning up the oceans. That's a big deal. Jason Momoa is obsessed with cleaning up the oceans. Don't you think a good place to start would be getting Amber Heard out of those oceans? Like, I, I think he was just actually falling in line with his activism and practicing what he preaches. And for that, you know, mad respect. I still don't like the guy all that much, but I can respect him wanting to better the environment by kicking Amber Heard to the curb. Him pretending to be embarrassed like he just made a simple social faux pas, disgusting individual. Well, it was a simple faux pas, I'm willing to bet. But let's watch this video for context. I mean, I see, I love that genre. It's just that there's so many things you can do, like rip someone's tongue out of the throat and uh, get away with it and rape beautiful women, you know? <laughs> Oh, what was that I heard? Uproarious laughter? But I thought the article said that people were aghast about it. His response elicited some gasps from the audience. I heard laughter. Let, let's, let's, let's run that back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I guess they just accidentally queued up the, an episode of Seinfeld's laugh track right there. That, that's what happened. The audience truly was ashamed and aghast in 2011, and, and this is some simple edit, a trick of the ears to make it seem passable. <laughs> Even his actors, even his co-stars are laughing. Like, like, this article, they posted it trying to dunk on Jason Momoa, which, again, I'm all right with because I don't like Jason Momoa, but they're trying to dunk on him, and they're clearly making stuff up that if you just watch the video that they posted, it proves wrong. They said that his actors were embarrassed. They're all laughing about it, and they said the audience was aghast. The audience is laughing! You can't make this up. How dumb do you have to... You, you, got, you call yourselves news.com. I, for one, would like a website that calls themselves news.com to, I know this is, this is a very big ask, but accurately report the news. Still laughing. He he's, he answered the question at the 14 second mark, that, which is literally the exact halfway point. Their people were still laughing at the 28 second mark. Clearly, homie did something right. Like let's be real, Jason Momoa ain't no Stephen Pryor. 
Stephen Pryor. Richard Pryor. I, I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to say Stephen Wright or Richard Pryor there, and I mixed the two. Anyway, Jason Momoa ain't no Richard Pryor, but that was funny. Like, like There was a bit of charm delivered to it, and then he acted all like, oh, whoopsie dipsy, shouldn't have said that. Like, he knew what he was getting into. 2011 truly was a different time, a more wild time, a time that I pined for. Fellow cast members appeared to look embarrassed and shocked while some audience members in the crowd laughed. Some? That was uproarious laughter, and most of his ca uh, fellow cast Cast members laughed alongside him. It's in the video. Like, like how, you guys trying to say, um, uh, imagine if you were to walk outside and you saw six pigeons and the news was try interviewing you right there. How do you feel about the four pigeons in front of you? And you're like, well, well, there's six. And then they write an article calling you a liar while posting a picture of the six pigeons. Uh, like, news.com, are you for real? In a response to the unearthed clip on X, numerous fans shared their disgust at Momoa's past remarks. One replied, Are there any decent men left in Hollywood? Yet another celebrity I won't watch any projects from again. Oh, but but I'm sure you will just eat up anything with uh, uh, Chris, what's his name? Um, Chris Evans in it, you know, the, 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 the biggest Hollywood moron of all the Chris's. Yeah, so, sure. I mean, again, I'm not going to be upset if you don't support Jason Momoa because I, I think the dude's a bit of a talentless hack. And if the rumors about him playing Shadow the Hedgehog in the live-action Sonic the Hedgehog 3 are true, then just, oh my god, I'm going to drink some bleach. But whatever. It, it's not like he needs your viewership anyway. Following the backlash at the time, also, you said in uh, one reply, let's see, where was it? Numerous fans shared their disgust with Momoa. And you listed one reply. Uh, following the backlash at the time, Momoa took to social media to apologize for his shocking remark. Okay, hold on. Is, is this apology recent now that it's been unearthed? Or, uh, I awoke in Australia to the justified reactions by many people to a distasteful joke I made years ago. Okay, so this is recent. So this is his response now. What a beta male. Someone with all these muscles and facial hair. Dude, I, I was told by, uh, by, by my good friend Vex Electronica, you know, sexy Vexy. I was told about her, from, from her, that's why men nowadays grow beards. Because they're so soy and beta, it gives them a sense of having masculinity. Because, oh, at least I can grow a beard. That, I'm sure, is why Jason Momoa looks the way he does. Because he's about to apologize for a 12-year-old joke that clearly landed with the audience. I woke in Australia to the justified reactions by many people to a distasteful joke I made years ago, for which I am sorry, he wrote on. Instagram. I am still severely disappointed in myself for the insensitivity of my remarks that day. I'm sure you wake up every day after you cash those multi-million dollar actor checks. Oh, that one time at Comic Con in 2011, I said something bad about rape. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna donate half my salary from Aquaman, Aquaman 2, and Son of the Hedgehog 3, assuming that I get the part, to a local women's shelter. Are you doing that there? I, I don't think you're doing that, Cal. No, no, Cal, Cal Drago, come sh share that money. If you, if you were so disappointed in yourself, then donate to a local women's shelter. Yeah, no, Jason Momoa ain't doing that. So he's not super disappointed in himself, nor should he be. But again, at this point, I'm a little bit hard on the paint in this dude because he's being a, so a soy beta bitch by actually apologizing. You don't kowtow to this mob. You move on because you know what? Tomorrow on the internet's going to find something new to be outraged about and they're not going to remember the fact that you made a rape joke 12 years ago. Get the fuck over it. I know my sincerest apology won't take away those hurtful words. Oh, yes, jokes. Jokes are so hurtful. Uh, I, Jason Momoa, I, for a day, spend a day. I ask you, spend a day with Daniel Tosh. You might learn something. Rape and sexual harassment can reach anyone, and I've seen firsthand as painful torment among members of my own family and friends. Well, if you've seen it firsthand, that means you were present. You're a big dude with buff arms. You probably could have stopped the person. I'm just saying. I made a truly tasteless comment. It's unacceptable, and I sincerely apologize with a heavy heart for the words I said. Do your co-stars have to also come out and apologize for laughing right alongside you? Because they laughed. You told a joke, dude. Get the fuck over it. Like I said, I am as anti-cancel culture as they come, and I think trying to cancel people over jokes is the worst version of cancel culture. Are there people out there that do awful, negative, heinous things that deserve to have their lives taken away? Rarely, but yes, that absolutely does happen. 
But when you have to go back to someone's past, 12 years back in someone's past, to find a reason to try and get them to lose their livelihood today, you are the ultimate scum of the earth. There is no redemption for you. You you deserve the cancellation more than the actual people who get canceled. Like, in most states, there's like a statute of limitations on laws. You know, oh, he broke this law, but it was 10 years ago, so we can't do anything about it. But you're trying to go back 12 years to cancel Homeboy over a joke? Are you out your goddamn mind? If you guys were not aware, of where I stood on cancel culture, well then A, this is either your first time watching one of my videos, or B, you ain't been paying attention to any of my over 500 videos, so uh, yeah, now you guys know. But I want to know something from you, your thoughts on the matter. Let me know down in the comments below, or let me know on X, where you can find me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe, I am a nerdy news channel, I cover nerdy news every day, and uh, yeah, this is not my first video of the day. Go ahead, look back, if you're a weeb, if you're a filthy otaku like your boy, and you're an anime fan, and you've been using Crunchyroll, well, congratulations, your, uh, your data was sold to the highest bidder, so check out my video on that and see if you were affected, and you may settle uh, claim a lawsuit for 30 dollars it's it's pretty great yeah check out the previous video and also find me on instagram at words of paradise underscore leon i'd love for you guys to see what i do behind the scenes some of the recipes i cook up or some of the magic the gathering events i go to but until next time it's all here in the nerdosphere and this has been words of paradise